We are here today at the Parsi Gymkhana on Marine Drive in Mumbai. This is the very ground where Surya Kumar Yadav practiced for hours before heading to Australia for the World Cup. Joining us here today, Khodada Diyazdegardi, Cricket Secretary and Vice President of Parsi Gymkhana. Welcome. So, tell us about uh, Surya and his association with Parsi Gymkhana. Surya is a citizen of Parsi Gymkhana is almost over a decade old. And when he was playing for the Mumbai in the 19s. <laughs> And he's the same guy that I see him today, like what he was when he was 18, 19, full of confidence, full of attitude, the right attitude. Yeah, he was, with, as a youngster, he was quite aggressive at that time. Right. And people at times felt okay, he's over aggressive, over confident, mm. but that was not the case. Because his mind is thinking that time also was so clear that every time I go onto the field, I go to win. Right. I have to have that attitude within me that I show the opposite team that I'm here to demoralize, just get them out of the game. Right. And the same attitude rubbed onto the shoulders of the other players in the team also. Correct. Whether he was fielding, batting, and at those days even he used to bowl quite a lot of off spin also. Yeah. yeah. So a brilliant guy, and with all this hard work that has gone into, like playing for India has not just come out of the blue. It has Absolutely. taken years of hard work. Way back in 2016 or 17, I'm not quite sure of the year, when he was dropped from the Mustaq Ali mm. Mumbai squad, yeah. he was quite dejected and there have been times when he said, sir, I think I should go to another state or I should give up on cricket. So my work as a, and he had full trust in me as a person where when I should talk to him. So I just kept on talking, hey, Surya, your time will come, the door mm. will open. Otherwise, let's do one thing, play in such a way that you break through the door. Correct. Okay, you know, like... Which he literally no option, did. Which yeah. he literally did. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, tell us, I mean, he. it's very difficult to believe that Surya made his debut for India just a year ago. I mean, the way he's been performing over the past year. Do you think he missed out on a couple of years? Uh, I honestly feel yes. He should have made his debut way back in 2000, at least 2018 possibly. And when he was getting lots of runs. So, that's one more thing when he used to get frustrated, call me at late night, early mornings. Hey, sir, what do I Should I move to another state or what? I, what more can I do? I said, no, Surya, your time will come. Maybe you have to score more. If you're scoring 100, you start getting a double 100. So that's the mm. way you have to go, Surya. And the best part in him was, as any individual, he used to get upset, but he used to get it behind him. And that was all work that I had to do to just keep him motivated, keep him committed. And he kept on working hard. And the biggest thing, he kept on working hard on his fitness. Yeah. And he kept on like, he, he's a very good reader of the game. Right. Okay, so like, Going to Australia also, he knew that he would possibly be in the World Cup squad. So, mm. he started preparing this much before the, the squad was also announced. So, when did the preparations begin? Because I, the preparation because, started here, yeah, at this very ground. After Covid and all, when he came down and whenever we had this thing, uh, sessions out here, he used to make Vinayak stand around, he used to get a sidearm, this thing, a thrower to him. Then we used to, And I used to make and he wanted hard wickets. Right. As close as one which we could get in Australia, Australia. possibly. 80-85% uh, right. close to that. Right. And my, a few members out here who used to see him bat, so they used to ask me, okay, has he changed the V because he's playing all these shots behind the wicket, which we have never seen in cricket. Correct. So I said, let's hope what he's doing. You, you are seeing those shots now in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that all has worked. So it is not something that he's just gone out there and plays yeah. hours and hours of hard work. And all those things, thanks us to go a big thank you to Vinak and all the coach who has worked with him so hard. And over here, I would even say that Dr. Makran Vaigankar has helped him a lot. Like he put him onto this app called One Giant Mind mm. for meditation and all, which has helped Surya a lot. Right. So right now, also, you see he walks with that attitude, but that's really something good. He has that attitude where he wants to go out and just perform. Correct. Yeah, yeah, true. So, uh, Surya also went through a rough phase, uh, you know, before he kind of hit it big in the IPL and then made it to the Indian team. Uh, you as a Jimkhana stood by him during that phase. Yes. You talk us, can you talk us through that phase? I mean, how did he overcome it? How did he come out of it? And how did he reach where he has reached today? See, the best part in Surya is always ready to learn. He mm. learns from boys who are much younger to him also. He will take up something from an 18, 19 year old boy also. And he's very respectful. So whenever, like he had full trust in me and Vinayak Mane. So whenever I used to speak to him, he was all years. Mm. And I, for example, a few things like when he got, he used to play for KKR. He initially yeah, played yeah. for Mumbai Indians and went on to KKR. When then he came back, back for Mumbai. Yeah. I used to tell Surya, you know, that Dhirubhai Ambani had a beautiful quote that he who dares to dream has got the world to conquer. Yeah. So keep dreaming yeah. and our dreams will be fulfilled. So when he got selected for the Indian squad for the T20 against England, he called me, sir, our dream is fulfilled. 
I said, no, Surya, a dream will be fulfilled when you play Test for India. Yeah. And as rightly as Ravi said the other day on Star on TV that he feels he should be batting at number 5 for India in Test. And hmm. I'm quite confident that he will get his call and quite confident he has got another 6-8 years of cricket at him because he's super fit. Yeah. And if he plays for, he gets a chance to play Test for India, he'll end up with around maybe 4-5,000 Test runs too. We hope so. We genuinely Fingers hope so. Crossed. So, what what next for Surya? I mean, Test cricket, yes, of course. Do you think leadership as well? Uh, with uh, Rohit uh, kind of nearing the end of his career, Virat uh, close to being there. You think Surya is the yes, next I captain you, for he's India? He's a good, good reader of the game. Mm -hmm. And he's a guy on the field also who keeps on lifting the players. So, yes, he has been, he has led Mumbai, he has led Passage in China, he's led Mumbai, he's led his age groups and all also. And He's a very aggressive captain, a very thinking captain. Mm. So it, it, it has to be. It may be. I may never yeah. know. Uh, let's, like you said, let's keep our fingers crossed. In fact, in fact, being in Australia also, uh, just before the start of the first game, India Pakistan, three hours prior to that, he sends me a WhatsApp message. Okay, sir, kindly send me the link of our passage in Kala game today. So he's so much. He's so the entrenched club also. into the. Yeah. He's, believe me, he's very humble. Very down to earth, full of gratitude and I feel that is taking him a long way. If you so see it's, his it's expressions when he fails also or scores also, he's not, there's no rush of blood inside yeah, his school. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's also the attitude, the right attitude yes. that he's feeling. Great, thanks for joining us today Khodadad. I mean, it's been a pleasure. Sky is the limit as they say. Ameya Bise here from the Parsi Gymkhana on Marine Drive with camera persons Manish and Ayaz for CNN News 18.